Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very, very large image in the Silhouette Studio. Um, you can do this in the basic edition, there's no reason to upgrade to uh, make this happen. So first thing we're going to do is make sure that our image, each color is grouped together. And put them back real quick. And then we're going to grab all of them and adjust this to the size that we want. So since I'm going to make this really big, I'm zoom out, put this over here. So this image is about 50, 52 inches wide and 33 inches tall. Which you won't be able to cut in one shot the silhouette, but can still make it happen. So we're gonna separate the colors, put the red up here, the blue start with the black. So the blacks um, what you want to do is figure out how many pieces you're gonna cut this into because you can only cut 12 inches by 10 feet. So I'll start with a rectangle and I'll make it 11 inches tall by 60 inches. It's a little over 11 inches, but think of this box as your sheet of vinyl. So in order to make sure that all the pieces line up, what I'll do is I will duplicate the Spider-Man. So however many pieces we need to make sure that we can cut it all. And then I'll bring a line in put all these on the line they're all in the same spot and we'll go back to our square here and we'll start with the first one which will be here we don't need that big piece of vinyl duplicate it. So then for the second one we do is move this block up and overlap it a little bit so you can see right here so that'll give us the overlap that we need for when we put it together. And bring this over here and then we'll duplicate it again. Grab this box Scoot over a little. Oop. Went to grab the box. And a little overlap in the corner again. So since this is this top is hanging out here, I'm gonna move all of these up. Move this up a tiny bit. I'm going to try and cut it in three pieces. Uh. Let's move these over. I'm going to make a fourth Spider Man. Duplicate this box. Need to grab those fingers and the top of his head. So, if you look here, each box is overlapped a little bit. So that's how much overlap you're going to have on each piece. 
here. And then here. I'll zoom out. Shrink that up. And you're going to highlight the whole thing. And you use your crop tool. And you can crop it. And then where there was a little overlap, you're going to get these little boxes. So you can just get rid of them. So now what you have here is all of your pieces. It's a little overlap. So you're not going to need this. You're going to need this piece finished off the top. Uh, oh. Grab all of them, group them. And then there's your, we'll group these together. So then you're going to do the same thing with the the red sheet, red sheets of vinyl, uh, duplicate, duplicate, actually, so you grab your uh, red sheet of vinyl and then you want to flatten this out as much as you can. That'll that'll create less pieces. Duplicate. Duplicate. Alright, and then the same thing, we'll create a box about eleven inches. Okay, a little hangover. Stretch that out. Duplicate. You got all three there. Use your crop tool. the crop tool twice, don't do that. Delete that little box, delete that little box, and then make sure you group these together. Group, and then there's your there's your pieces with your overhangs. Red. And we'll do the same thing with the blue. Actually, if you let's do that over. You ungroup this, and then you can cut, 
This is 11.7 by 10.53, so you could cut that in one shot. You could cut that. You could cut that. And you could cut that. They'll all fit on the mat. So there's no reason to cut those all up. So now when you go to cut this, you want to change your mat. No mat, and then 12 inches wide by 60 inches tall. find this black Alright, now that you have your images ready to get cut, you can move this straight up and down and then adjust it to fit on your mat. And then you would send that to the cutter. cut it and then you do your next piece and then the next piece And then you would do the same thing for the red and the blue. You'd be able to take this and throw it in here and cut it. And then same with this one. until you have all your pieces cut and then you can put it together.